Greetings Earthlings, welcome to Pineapple World, and today I'm here to give you a little discussion video and predictions. To be more precise, I'm talking about, I'm going to be giving you my predictions on how I think Naruto, Naruto Shippuden will end the whole story of Naruto, Sasuke, Sakura, and the Hidden Leaf Village and such. How I think everything's going to end. Um, now, I'm not saying that this is how it's going to happen. I'm not saying, oh, I know anything. No, this is strictly my predictions, my thoughts, and, you know, after seeing the series for quite some time, um, you know, my conclusions of how I think it's going to end. Um, well, seeing how where the series is right now, you know, Naruto's training and uh, Sasuke just had an eye implant and such. So, you know, we do know for a fact there's going to be a big battle. My opinion on how the battle is going to go is as follows. I believe uh, Naruto and Sasuke are going to have it out. It's going to be a really bad battle. And somewhere along the lines, something is going to happen where Sasuke actually betrays um, Madara. Or something, Madara is going to betray Sasuke or something's going to happen where Sasuke actually has to team up with Naruto. Yes, I believe that. Naruto and Sasuke will team up one more time to take out the final villain, which will be Madara, Madara, however you want to pronounce him, Uchiha. Uh, it wraps up perfectly, first of all, that Madara is the final villain, because if you look at all the events, pretty much everything is supposedly that he is responsible, you know, he's responsible for the death, you know, in a way, anyway, for the death of Naruto's parents. He is, you know, the big cause of all of this. So for him to be the final villain is more than perfect. You know, if it's not him, then it wouldn't make sense because it leads everything, the whole story, up to Madara. Um, I also believe with uh, the Kabuto, I also believe he's eventually going to be, you know, finally turn into Orochimaru or something. Orochimaru is already, I believe, taking control of him or controlling him in some form or another. And eventually we're going to get that, you know, break where Orochimaru just breaks out of already and says, you know, it's me... And him and, Kabut uh, him and um, Madara aren't going to be much longer working together. I'm pretty sure of that because, as, first of all, both of them don't trust each other. And also, there's an ace up uh, Kabuto's sleeve, because I'm, I'm sure all of you guys remember, when he brought up the coffins, the one that kind of scared Madara. I believe that that casket, as I've said in the previous video, is the real Madara. I believe that this is not Madara that we've seen. I believe that this is probably his brother. This is Obito. I know a lot of people say, well, there's been proof. Well, it still could be. You never know what all the crazy jutsus that there are that could potentially be Obito in the Madara thing. Um, and I, I definitely see that Naruto is going to need a lot more help to defeat Madara than just by himself. Because by himself, he isn't that formidable. If you look at all the Madara's crazy powers, like... It's just no way that Naruto is going to be able to beat him by him by himself, in my opinion, because, like, he is just, like, very overpowered. Like, he could jump out of any situation. That, like, you know, he's very overpowered. And I believe that Sasuke is going to have to jump on the good guy's side one more time. Big question. A lot of people think that uh, maybe in the end Sasuke is going to die and that'll be his, you know, that'll be when he finally has redeemed himself. When it, but, well, you know, it's going to be too late. It will be cliché. And I kind of want to disagree with that. I kind of believe that at the end, Sasuke, after everything goes down, is going to be presumed dead. But not, like, you know, there's no body. Nobody knows if Sasuke is dead or not. I'm hoping that that's what it is. Because it would make more mystique and more uh, mystery to the situation than, you know, Sasuke dying in Naruto's arms. Which we call pretty much envision that, you know, Naruto crying, holding Sasuke, screaming, Sasuke! I mean, I, it would be a good ending and everything, but I just think it would leave more mystique and more mystery and more oomph to the story if, like, Sasuke is presumed dead, but they don't know where he's at, and ultimately it's, like, a really awesome mystery. Will that happen? I'm not sure. Again, these are my predictions. Um, I, I believe in the end, I'm not even going to go into that pairing stuff. You know, Naruto will end up with whoever he ends up with. But that's my predictions. Let me know what your predictions are, uh, how Naruto's going to end in the comment section below. I'm from Neville World, and thanks for watching, everybody.